Man's inhumanity to man is often viewed as the height of cruelty. It is even more disheartening when such cruelty comes from one's biological parent. This is the story of Baby Miracle. The two-month-old baby boy who has been trending on the social media lost an arm from beating by his father. One confidence Amatobi, a native of Amurie in his local government area of Yumo State, as he was quoted as saying that the baby was crying so much and was disturbing his sleep. Baby Miracle's mother, Favor Chikwe, who hails from Idemili South local government area of Anambra State, though not formally married to her baby's father, confidence says he immediately locked them up in the room when she discovered what he has done. To prevent her from letting anyone know about it. And he threatened me not to tell anybody about it. And I said, okay, based on the threatening he gave to me. Then when he was going out, he will lock me inside. So on the Sunday afternoon stroke, evening when he was going out, I have to come outside so that I will report it to his neighbor. And when I went to his neighbor, when he left, and I went to report it to his neighbor, told his neighbor, look at what happened. So and he was not around. His neighbor had to call him and told him that see what happened. The baby is already weak and it's no longer breathing well like that. So the, the neighbor had to give me money and then I have to go to hospital. When I asked, they said the, 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 the husband to be that flogged the baby with hunger. And it's justice for the baby. And uh, in the financial aspect, too. The result of leaving the injured arm without medical attention for days is this amputation. I'm hopeful that he will have a prosthesis, but you know, prosthesis is not put, put on usually accurately, you know, in, at least in our own setting. And the wound has to heal very well. Just as this incident has continued to attract public outcry, the Human Rights Commission, Imo State Office, and other non governmental organizations, including the Nigeria Association of Women Journalists, NAWAJ, are calling for justice for the innocent child. We've called the attention of the law enforcement agency, the CP, officially letting him to do his work by making sure that this corporate, this alleged violator, is arrested, prosecuted, and justice being given to the little boy. I want confidence to be found and I want him to come and say his own part of the story so we can have a balanced view of what or information of what really transpired. While I look forward to justice to be served, I also hope and pray that the, uh, the state government or if possible the federal government could place that little boy on life scholarship. I'm appealing that well-meaning Nigerians should come to the rescue of this baby though he's out of danger at the moment yes but he still needs help because uh, we don't know the bill that has accumulated for now while the baby is still on admission at the federal medical center Ure, the father who committed the crime has remained at large we are on top of the situation because uh, the commissioner of police has already directed the uh, command uh, investigation arm to commence a full-blown investigation into the matter, the husband of the woman, as we all know, is on the run, and we are close to him. For sure, help is what Baby Miracle needs if he must survive his predicament.